Howdy folks, got a quick one for you this time. Let's make a jetpack. So you'll be able to fly up, you'll have a fuel bar, and if you run out, it just lights out. We'll also set up that fuel thing. I'm gonna do this one in a slightly different way, just to not take up too much of y'all's time. Uh, instead of building it out, I'm just gonna go over it, because it's not too much, and uh, I think you'll be able to get it. So. I've set up a third person example, or a template, and inside the third person character, first thing I did was I created four variables, one called hovering, that's a boolean, three floats, one called fuel, this will register our character's fuel tank, slow down, this is the uh, reduction in speed, forward, backwards, left, and right, that the character has once they activate the jetpack, and then thrust, this will be the lift force to... Uh, how fast the character moves up. So my defaults for fuel is just set to 1, slowdown is 0.35, and thrust is 250. Now on my jump function inside the third person blueprint, you'll find it, it'll just have the jump and then jump, stop jumping on the pressed and released. But I've backed it up, gotten out my character movement node to check to see if the character is falling and if their fuel is greater than zero. If they are not falling or their fuel is not greater than zero, then I just want them to do the regular jump. So a false, it's jump. But if they are falling and they've got fuel, then I want to set their gravity scale to zero by getting out the character movement. Set gravity scale to zero. Then I want to get the character's velocity and break that vector open so that I can multiply the x and the y value, which is left and right, forward and backwards, I want to multiply both of those by my slowdown effect. Now, their full speed will be 1. Whatever it is, your velocity, it'll just be 1 at max speed. So when I set it to point through, when I times it by 0.35, it's basically setting my forward speed to 35% of what it was. Now off the other side, I'm from the character movement node, we need to set the velocity drag off this way and type make vector so that we can plug this one into the x and this one into the y. Now for the z axis, I've just hooked up my thrust variable, so 250. Now I'm setting all that to my velocity and setting my boolean of hovering to true. Then I'm calling a custom event I set up called consume fuel and activating my two little booster flames, which are actually part of a free pack you can find in the marketplace. So we'll come back to the consume fuel thing in just a second, but on released for your input action for the jump, right after it says stop jumping, we want to see if the character is currently hovering. So if hovering is true, then we want to set our gravity scale back to 1 from our character movement node, set that hovering is false, and then here's just where I'm deactivating those flames where I activate it on the other side. Now if they're not hovering, we don't need to do anything. Now for this consume fuel event that I'm calling right here, when I consume fuel, I get my fuel, subtract 0 0.01 from it, because like I said, mine is just set to 1, so 0 0.01 is a good amount, and then I'm setting it to that new amount. Then after that, I need to see if that new amount is less than or equal to 0, because if it is, they've run out of gas, and I want them to get dropped. So the drop custom event is right here hooked to that branch where I check to see if they're hovering and it basically just undoes it and lets them fall. So, but if it's not less than or equal to zero, so they have gas still, then I want to do a short delay. This could be however fast you want the fuel to drain out. I've just got it set to 0.1 right now. And then I want to check to see if the character is still trying to hover. And if they are, then I want to call that consume fuel event again so that it'll fire through. As long as we're hovering, they're still using fuel. And that is pretty much it for the effect. So just to show you, if I increase this, or if I set this thrust to zero, and I set my slowdown to, let's say five, just to speed it up, then I don't move up but if I'm moving forward, whoa, God. woo, yeah, it moves quick.
Now these swirly blue orbs over here. Let me let me set these back so I don't throw myself all over the map trying to get to them. These are just fuel recharges, which for that all I did was set up a blueprint actor called Fuel Pickup, and for it, it's just a glowy blue sphere that when my character overlaps it. I set my character's fuel back to one and then destroy the orb. So that's all that is. And as for the actual jetpack itself, it's just a black cube that I attach to the character's back with two particle systems underneath. Now for the particle systems, they are set to auto-activate is set to false. So way down here, activation, auto-activate is false. So that when I call them in here, when I activate my jetpack in here, I can activate them on this side and deactivate them on the drop side. So that's all you need to get a nice little hover effect and if y'all want to see a more in-depth video or see, watch me actually recreate it in a full video just let me know. Uh, but hope you enjoyed the quick bite. I'll catch y'all later.